I'm Jane Schleppenbach. I'm going to uh, do a fluid acrylic pour painting, but I'm going to use uh, the strainer and see what I can come up with here. So let's see. First, we'll put the uh, paint. I've got uh, Primary Cyan, Deco Art, Americana Premium Paint. Put a little squeeze in there. Probably put more than I needed. Now is primary magenta. Little in there. And I'm going to use some enamel paint. This is opaque. You need a combination of opaque usually and some transparent paint if you want to get a certain effect that I may try to get here. And um, it makes the, the opaque paint, the combination can make you have uh, cells in your painting. Um, when you put silicone, which I'm going to use, or this isn't silicone, this is dimethicone, soap drops, and this is silicone, treadmill belt lubricant, 100% silicone. And then I am going to put, um, okay, there was a blue. This is blue enamel paint. <laughs> I had out in my shed, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to get some of that out. Probably just pour it. I should, could use a funnel here, but I'm not going to. Alright, there's. I guess I don't need it. Next, I'm going to put the Floatrol, little Floatrol in there. That makes the paint flow better when you put it on, when you put it on your canvas. Now, okay, there's a little bit in there that's in the blue. I don't know if I need it in there, but I'm going to put some in the house paint. And then I'm putting a little bit in each one. This, maybe even in that. Okay, that's the white. Now, I'm going to put, well first I'm going to stir these. I have these little stirring sticks that work good. And I have the paint in the cups, as you can see. I think I need a little more floral in there. I like it to be a little more flowing. A bit more. Okay, that's a little more flowing. Magenta, primary magenta. This is a transparent color. Hmm. Pretty good, maybe I'll put a little more in there too. Okay, that's drippier. A little bit drippier makes it nicer. Okay, this one is 
for some in your house paint. <laughs> I need a little more pink in there. Okay. Stir it up. Stir, stir, stir. And then another step to stir. Here. Whoops, there's my blue stick there. I use that blue stick. For the blue. Oh, pretty doopy. Okay, and then this one is the white, titanium white with the little flower trowel, and it is Deco Art Americana. Okay, now I like to put a little bit of these in. There's my treadmill belt lubricant. Put a one, one drop, one drop, oh two, whoops, one, two, one, one, two. Alrighty, that looks good. And I'm going to put a little bit of this one too, silk drops. It's actually hair serum. One, there, squeeze a little, squeeze a little, and squeeze a little, and then cover. Now, I have my heat gun ready in case I want to use it. It helps uh, make some cells if you're not getting too many and you want more. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, ask me this. Okay, so first I'm going to put in the cups. In the cup, um, I will put, oh, and did I stir that? I don't know if I stirred. There. Okay, that's stirred. Now I'm going to first put a little white in here, bottom. Okay, now putting the different colors. Blue. Magenta. The beige color of enamel paint. A little light blue enamel paint, enamel paint, and then one more white. Okay, I hope I have enough paint. Oh, it looks like it's making cells in there already, see? Oh, um, this will be pretty. I'll put more blue on top. Put the rest of the red. And put the rest of the beige. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then this blue, I think I'll save that. I think what I'll do with the blue is put a little around the corners because I don't like if the corners don't have anything. And sometimes, if you don't have quite enough paint, you might not get enough. You might not spread, and then you might have to mess up your. You might have to mess up your cells. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, this I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Play around. Play around with it. Okay. Right. Something there. Something has to be there. Okay, now I will try something. Fun.
fun. Why am I doing this? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try putting it through these. Actually, I think I will first pour a little bit of it and put that around the edges. Maybe. Okay, one, two, three, four. Pour. Get some of it back in. <laughs> Push them back in. Okay, now that's kind of pretty. Right, now this I'm going to put through here and see what happens. Fun, fun, fun. Tell your daddy takes your tea bird away. Around. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of pretty. Okay, now I like this, so I'm going to. No, nope, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to take some of these colors, pour them around. Because I have more color left. It's all kind of random, but I do like to see if I like make a composition that I like. A little color balance. And yeah. No. I want more red. I think I'll mix it with something first. Now let's see. This has a little blue in it. This is gonna be a lighter red. Alright, so I'm going to put a little white. No, put a little flow towel in there. Mix it up. Oh, no, it's a pretty color. Okay, now maybe I can put a little bit of. Oops. A little treadmill lubricant. Don't know what that will do, but it might help. Make it pretty. Alright, now I'm going to dump this around different places and see what happens. Now, I think I'm going to tip it a little. Do a little tipping. Move it around a little. Hope I still keep some of those pretty cells in there. Actually, I don't want to tip it anymore. I'm going to move it with this. I like the colors. I like the color combo. Sometimes I use my fingers, but it's kind of fun to use this this time.
see what we can do without making it too muddy. Okay, I don't want the mud. Do not, I just want pretty flowy designs. That's a little, there. Okay, here. That needs something there. All right. Not too big of blobs. I want the blobs to, the blobs need to spread a little bit. So they're not just blobs. I don't want too much blobs. Ooh, that looks cool. There, see it? Okay, oh, I don't want to mess up that pretty bit of hair. Alright, now, now, I think, kind of like that, but I'm gonna do something with the, with the heat gun, see what happens. <coughs> okay, heat gun. Step. You just watch and see what happens because it might have some of the white come up and make some more cells. So that should be pretty. But uh, maybe I will take a picture and see what happens and put it with under the video after it dries. But I won't. That has a pretty one. a little too naked there. Needs a little more paint on it. There. Now. Later, if I want to add more paint, I can take it. The brush or just pour some more if I don't like it. But, yeah. Okay, now the sides would be nice. Maybe I'll make the sides pink color. Okay, so, oh, I thought I'd show you these. Here's one um, I did the other day. It's got a little um, mermaid there. So I put some gold around it and I kind of like it. it. grew on me as I was looking at it. It's got um, crazing on it which is kind of cool too, which is those little ch -ch -ch lines and stuff. Sometimes that's good. Some people don't like it, but some people do it on purpose. So anyway, that's how that one came out. And the sides are, ooh, I hope I'm not getting paint on. No? All right, there. Okay. And... Okay, uh, here, if you like to um, 
by my art or look at some more of it. I have some of it's more realistic, some of it is just different kinds of art I have. And I love to paint. A lot of it is acrylic paintings and there's a number of abstract acrylics and there are some uh, realistic and some impressionistic paintings on there. I also have watercolors, I mean some gouache and mixed media. So, so I hope you like it and I will do another one soon. All right. Put it, please put a like on my um, on the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye for now.